What's up, guys? Welcome to the TMG Podcast. This is actually today's, today's episode. F- today's free episode. Ah. But if you want uh, the bonus episode that went up today as well, you can find that on our Patreon. That's patreon.com slash tinymeatgang, and uh, the, the free episode will be ad-free as well on there. So, uh, And if not, thanks, and enjoy this one. Peace. Peace. Hey, dude. Hey, dude. Can yeah. I ask you a question? Yeah. Have you ever heard of uh, the the restaurant Madikinya? Yeah, it's pretty good. <sighs> Next time. <laughs> I'm going to start every episode trying to get you back. <laughs> with the most obvious with the most obvious ones. Hey dude, you ever heard of the um uh the uh show My Huge Balls in Ya? Yeah, yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. Oh, fuck. <laughs> no, Next man. time. I was <laughs> I was saying <laughs> I was thinking, like, it's kind of funny to, like, hit people with the obvious and then say something really dark afterward. Oh, dude, have you heard of Sugma? (laughs) Yeah, he's, like, this Japanese dude. He's got, like, a growth. He's, like, the first human with a third arm. It's fucking crazy. It's because he, like, yeah, worked in a power plant. It's fucked up. (laughs) Anyway. What's up with you? (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, my uncle actually died a really, really painful death from Sugma. It's an awful disease, man. It just attacks, you know, <laughs> yeah. just the worst parts of your body. And it's just, it's just pain all the way to the end. It's just no relief ever. And it's just basically, you know, you're getting tortured essentially until you die. Because, you, 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 um, you know, like people take DMT because like the whole like, you know, pineal gland thing. Well, Sugma starts there and it like deteriorates. So like you stop sleeping, you go blind. Yeah. Um, you start vomiting uncontrollably. You shit your pants constantly. You can't, yes. you, just no control of your bowel movements. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, but, eventually you're just, you know, kind of like a living geyser just spraying out of all orifices and, and you know, your eyes are bleeding and stuff like that. It's really, really horrendous. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, have you have you been? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, anyways. You all right? <laughs> Dude, no. Um, another, uh, what's a, um, fucking, I, I forgot. It's fine. Dude, okay. are you are you afraid of COVID? You you afraid again? Alina, Alina's dad tested positive again. <laughs> what? Yeah. Really? Yeah, because yeah, he he works in like a in uh healthcare. So I read I read some some tweet or something about some guy that tested positive twice, but I thought it was some hysteria shit. No, but that really happens. Yeah, no, it, he he got it, and then now he's got it again, dude. Was it as bad? As the first time? Um, or like, he's what not, were the symptoms? He's not showing symptoms now, but yeah, he said the first time, he said it, it scared the shit out of him because it was like getting him pretty good. And then one of his coworkers, who was like 30, was on a ventilator and he was like, oh my God. Jesus. And so now, second time, not as not as bad? Uh, no, it seems to he's be He's like, okay. I've already, you know, I've done, been here, done this. Pretty much, yeah. So now yeah. he's like hanging with the boys. It's like... <laughs> Blast those particles in my face, dude. We got to shout this guy out. Who is this on Twitter? This is the funniest shit I've seen in a minute. It's such a great meme. Dude, first of all, dope Twitter handle, LinkedIn mindset. <laughs> <laughs> all right, That's first how you got to live your life, man. Yeah, LinkedIn You got to have a mindset. LinkedIn mindset. You got to be constantly thinking about networking Yeah. and business. Endorsements. And- Endorsements, that's a good one, and making connections. Mm -hmm. Always, always. And expanding your network. Yeah, and uh, uh, endorsing, getting your skills endorsed. Like, Yeah, right. (laughs) Hella stat points. You want to look like... I endorse Noelle's skills in having Sugma. Yeah. (laughs) What? uh, Oh, yeah, Sugma. That's horrible, man. (laughs) That thing is terrible. (laughs) Wait, can you turn on the screen? For the, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, sorry. Um, we're back again, see. back again with the virtual podcast. I'm back again with the motherfucking virtual podcast. <laughs> Wait, is it on? That's no, it's about to be on. Okay, I want to see Wait. this meme. I gotta see it with my own eyeballs. Oh, there it is. There it is. <laughs> There's two now. Damn, me and the boys absolutely blasting each other with particles after all this. Yeah, if you're over. just listening to audio, it's just like a, it's like some. <laughs> Like 3D render of how germs travel, and it's just these two bros like chilling in front of each other, just fucking annihilating each other. 
<laughs> with germs. They're hosing each other down with germs, dude. Bro, I didn't guy, know. That guy on the left is getting blasted. Yeah, he's getting rocked, man. I did not know <laughs> that we were just living, breathing fog machines, man. Yeah. This shit is knew, crazy. Man. It's wild. <laughs> it always brings me every time I see this shit, it brings me back to that to that Japanese farting video. We watched one? that on the po- we've watched it on the podcast before. I th- I'm pretty sure. Oh, they, they had, like, like watch it like infrared, infrared camera. Yeah, and they're like, watching Whoa. the dudes fart to see how it travels. Yeah, <laughs> see if the guy can get away from it. <laughs> <laughs> My guy is spewing, man. I can't believe it's just fucking. <laughs> it's getting rocked, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I was thinking? This looks like the fucking Team America World Police shit where they're, oh yeah, where they're just fucking projectile vomiting. Dude, my my friend was was saying <laughs> he does like he said the masks are crazy because um it had him thinking his mailman was hot or male lady. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I was like la- I was I was laughing because that is a benefit. I think we both, when we put on the mask, I think when you put on the mask, you go up a point or two just because yep. your face is, you know, Hit. no one can tell. <laughs> it's because, you know, yeah. You know, no we one got, can Our t- shitty faces are are hidden. Completely hidden. It's all in yeah. the eyes and your eyes yeah. can tell a story. Yeah. Though they can't. <laughs> trust me. I'm good at smizing. <laughs> yeah. I've perfected it, you know. Uh, uh, flirt gazing. <laughs> Flazing. <laughs> Phasing, phase clan. Phase, yeah, getting phased. Getting phased up. That's gonna be. That's what, yeah. that's what getting phased up means. Mm-hmm. That's gonna, that's gonna be the new shit. When uh, <laughs> oh my god, this this girl came in came into work today, and you know we was just you know I was ringing her out, and she was she was just phasing me hard, dude. <laughs> she was phasing me up and down, bro. It was crazy. Phase dude, was on was, nine, dude. <laughs> she was phasing my phase clan chain. I swear, <laughs> she saw it and she just phased me, phase up, and I said phase up. And I walked out. <laughs> you phasing? You phasing right now? You phasing? You no, I agree. And when you when you when you pop on sunglasses too, it's oh. like you're completely anonymous. You could just yeah. you're just cruising through the world, you know? Yeah. You got that unibomber sex appeal. That shit yeah. is unknown. Yeah, exactly. Is he ugly? Is he uglier? I don't know. <laughs> just how ugly does he go? Yeah. Um Exactly. Yeah, I I I think um, masks are, they need to stay around because I had a, I had an old lady do a, do a double take on me at the gas station. Oh yeah? She was, it was a quick, and there was no one there. This is not one of those like little boy things where, you know, she's just like thinking about her taxes and and I'm mistaken this. She did, she did a little, she little, her neck, I was surprised her neck could move like that. Oh, okay. Mask was on. So I'm like, okay. She was sizing right. you up. Yeah, she's phasing, dog. She said, I bet I bet he's got a big, thick beard under that thing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I bet he's got a big, big old I bet, I bet he's got lumberjack a lumberjack beard. I bet he's got a war hero beard under that thing, yeah, and I'd love nice to... Grabe. <laughs> I'd love to s- s- see that old beard under there. <laughs> I thought you were going to say suck on it. <laughs> I'd love to s- suck on that... Beautiful gray beard of yours. All the hair is just dancing in my mouth. (laughs) (laughs) Sucking on a beard, man. Grandmas deserve love, too. (laughs) I was just about to do that. (laughs) Give Grandma some dick. I bet he's loving the mask thing, dude. Oh, man. Wait, wait, why? Why I'm shy. I'm I'm actually six years old. Six <laughs> years old underneath this. Mask. Yeah, he's conning all the old ladies. Yeah, exactly. No, he's he's loving it because they old ladies need people to go to the grocery store for him. There's so much shit they can't do now. Yeah, and he's just cleaning house, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for getting my groceries. How must I? How will I ever repay you? He's like, I think I, I think I'll wait. I want to repay you. With some good dick. <laughs> Man, it's, that clip, I can't believe how not wholesome that guy is. Yep. TLC painted him like he was doing charity. Oh, yeah. Little did we know, this man is deviant. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is for him. This, he's not doing public service. Nah. This, is, this is for him. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, he's feeding whatever, whatever fetish that is. It's, it's that's crazy, man. That is anyway. Um, the, get, so yeah, uh, you know, if you're gonna be blasting your boys with particles anytime soon, we just advise that you mask up and face mm-hmm. up. Mm-hmm. Um, because you know you don't want to get uh, you don't want to get fucking Chernobyled by your boy. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, that's good advice. There's there's so much shit that has happened in the last well, week. Well, because we recorded two weeks ago. I know. So there's extra shit that's happened. There's I shit know. That, that happened that we can't even talk about anymore because that's old news. Yeah, it's just it's old it's, news. Twitter hack, old news. Doctor. Although, is, can I tell can I tell you one thing though? Yeah, yeah. About the Twitter hack. Yeah. I gotta be honest. Uh huh. I have to be completely honest. When I okay. saw Elon Musk's tweet, because that was the only one I saw. Yeah. Because it was one of the first that went out. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I saw it. And a, for like four or five seconds, I really almost did it. <laughs> I swear to God. I swear to God. I'm sitting on the toilet, and I really almost opened Coinbase and did that shit. To like, it, was, it was to buy more Bitcoin, right? Yeah, it was, the scam was send me Bitcoin to this address, and I'll send you back double. <laughs> in my mind, I'm I'm reading this because Elon Musk, like, he would tweet something like that. He, th- you know, he's he does always does the fuck. I'm gonna buy this company for 420 bucks a share. And yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, yeah, always, yeah. he's almost like a troll, but he he really lives it. Like the stuff he does, like you know, he sells real shit for 69 bucks. And yeah. so you don't know what's real and what's not. Right. As far as he's concerned, I just assumed it was real. I thought he was really just sending people money. <laughs> I was almost like, I'm gonna get my Bitcoin doubled. Fuck it. <laughs> You thought Elon was just doing the rapper shit? Drop your cash app. I'm going to take care of you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's the fucking that's the fucking billionaire equivalent. It just, <laughs> ladies, drop your Coinbase account. Yeah. And I will uh, send you 14 Bitcoin. That, how, how good would you have felt if you fucking sent him? How much would you have sent him, first of all? Like 50 bucks. I wanted to wow. see if it was. I wanted to see if it was real. Fifty is a commitment. I was, I was for sure thinking you say twenty. I mean, I don't know. Same. I have like you know, I have millions of dollars in Bitcoin. True. So yeah. Yeah. It doesn't even. I mean, you know, it's like I mean, money yeah. that's small amounts yeah. that small. It's so inconsequential. I could have said two hundred bucks. Would have meant the same thing to me. Right. Yeah. No. Same. Same. I like. I actually literally have an entire bank worth of Bitcoin. Um, right. 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 Yeah. Like you know the whole um, one coin thing. I have like that net worth. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> in my Coinbase account. Yeah, as a Dogecoin day trader like myself, mm-hmm. you know these kind of I'm seeing these kind of sums every second. Like they're moving. You know, I lose a right. million, I gain a million bucks right. in, in you know a couple minutes. So right. for for me to look at a, a you know a scam like this, not even a scam because I'm not even lo- I don't care about the money that's lost. You know, <laughs> dude, what was that site back in the day that tracked all the coins? Do you do you remember what I'm talking about? Coin tracker? No, is that no. it? I have no, no I don't know. No, it that literally, like that would be no, it. that's, that is one. No, oh, there it is. Yeah, coin tracker. No, wow. there, damn it. Um, it, fuck. Calcul- just, that's so funny that the landing page has calculate Bitcoin taxes. <laughs> yeah. You remember how much that wasn't a thing at the start? That, the so IRS wild. didn't even know it existed and yeah. nobody was reporting it. Yeah. And then they, they all these fucking, Verge blog writers were like, these guys need to pay taxes. Yeah. And you're, you're like, shut the fuck up. Snitched shut the on fuck everybody. Up, all right. <laughs> Snitched on everybody. We were that close to overthrowing the government, and then you fucking dummies had to just get the. Yeah, yeah. These, these guys aren't paying taxes. <laughs> fucking come on. You forgot to sign us homework. Ugh. Shut yeah. the fuck up, Verge. Shut it, you virgin. Yeah. <laughs> the virgin. That's what the fucking yeah. magazine title stands for. <laughs> oh, it's so funny <laughs> thinking about guys snitching on women on OnlyFans because they get they just don't get sex, so they're just envious. <laughs> These girls don't pay their taxes. <laughs> they don't pay taxes on their on their vagina. We pay taxes like everyone else. Oh, it's a job. Sex work is then you need to pay taxes. <laughs> I mean, dude, that's essentially that dude that sued Twitch. Yeah, <laughs> that's essentially that. <laughs> that's that guy. Yeah, they need I to can't pay stop taxes. jerking off. So <laughs> you gotta pay. 
<laughs> they need to pay taxes, and also you need to pay me because you guys make me jerk off. Yeah. <laughs> Honey, it's not my fault. Guys, let me interrupt real quick to thank Stitch Fix for sponsoring this episode of the podcast. In the world of clothes shopping, there are no consistent sizes, no, right? No, We shouldn't have to try to guess what an, a medium is or an extra medium or if an extra, extra medium is really an extra, extra medium. Right. Or constantly have to return clothes purchased online because it's hard to find something that fits you perfectly. Right. You know, and Stitch, right. and Stitch Fix is a personal styling company that makes getting the clothes you love effortless. It's a completely different way to shop that's all about you. Every time. Every, and to get started, time. you can go to stitchfix.com slash TMG to set up your profile. They'll deliver great looks personalized for you in your colors, styles, and budget. You pay a $20 styling fee for each fix, which is credited towards anything you keep. Schedule at any time. There's no subscription required. Plus, shipping, returns, and exchanges are easy and free. Mm -hmm. Stitch Fix does the hard work for you, making great style effortless. For everybody, including men, women, and kids. Yeah. Get started today. Oh, sorry. <laughs> get started today at stitchfix.com slash TMG. You'll get 25% off when you keep everything in your fix. That's stitchfix.com oh, slash TMG for 25% off when you keep everything in your fix. In your okay? fix. Stitchfix.com slash TMG. Again, you get 25% off. Every time you keep everything in your, in your fix. fix. Stitchfix.com slash TMG. <laughs> Thank you, Stitch Fix. Anyway, um, this, uh, man, you almost did it. I kind of wish you did. Which? Just send, oh, oh, send, send the money. The thing. Just to, <clears throat> just, you know, on the chance, on the chance you might have got something back. You know what I mean? I know. Like maybe the hacker thinks it's funny and then he chooses you and he goes, you know what? Let me let me let me let me feed the machine a little bit. And he well, they were back. they were doing that. Were I they actually? To, were they actually yeah, I guess money to, back? to making it to, to make it look legit, they were sending money out to other. Keep in mind, it might be their Bitcoin right, addresses right, as well. Right, right. But they were right. they were making the scam look like a legit thing for people Damn. that actually were in the know that would go to a, a coin tracking website and would look up the transactions for the account and would see if there's actually money moving out of it. So then Damn. they would be more encouraged to to do it. Wow, wow, yeah, and that's so, crazy. Uh, yeah, it's pretty wild. Oh, um, is isn't it crazy that people can do all that wild shit with Bitcoin and just never get caught? Yeah, that's it's the crazy. craziest shit. But I mean, they'd have to be careful, really careful, not to get caught. Which I'm sure that they fucking are. They probably, they probably do this all the time. I guess this tweet shows up all the time. Like it's not a new tweet. Got they've, it. they've been testing it forever because uh, it's like a bunch of Twitter accounts that will rename themselves Elon Musk and put the same profile picture. And then they'll <laughs> reply to viral tweets with that exact same phrasing, being like, hey, I'm feeling generous. Send me this amount of Bitcoin. I'll send you back double. And so I think they've really like tuned that tweet to be like as effective as possible. Oh, that is wild. And then people just fall for it. People fall for it. But I never saw it. I've never seen it before, but all my friends were like, "Yeah, dude, I've seen that a billion times." And I was like, "Yeah, me too." I mean, I wasn't. Uh, hey, I wasn't gonna. I, I, I wasn't, wasn't gonna do it. I wasn't gonna send. Yeah, I wasn't fifty thousand dollars on the toilet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was gonna send my life savings on the toilet. Yeah. Oh, I was looking some, up. I read. Sorry. I, uh, go no, ahead. go for it. No, no, no. Go. For I was it. just gonna say before we move on. I, I read some tweet that said, basically, they were like, "What I would have done is if I had Elon Musk's Twitter is." Basically, buy calls on Hertz, and then and then make a tweet that says I'm buying Hertz, and we're gonna make the whole fleet, uh, you know, autonomous driving cars, and I'm gonna buy Hertz, you know, because it's like a failing stock. Right. Rental cars now are fucked, and I'm gonna buy it for sixty nine bucks a share or whatever, and you know, you just make millions then, because everyone <laughs> would buy Hertz. Damn. I thought that was kind of creative, right? Uh, yeah, just you know, just a little bit. This is super creative. Are you joking me? It's fucking, yeah. <laughs> I, was, I was looking up the kid who started uh, uh, Mount Gox. And oh, yeah? He got skinny, bro. <clears throat> Jim Wait. Caleb. Skinny. Wait, so what was the deal? What was it? Hold on. What What happened? Chili. Chili. <clears throat> uh, what wasn't what happened with Mount Gox? They get sh it got shut down, or is it? Does it still exist? No, it definitely got shut down. Dude, it was just some piece was, of shit Magic the Gathering site. 
Um, the hell? Yeah, I forget. No. I remember like there was a huge controversy with it, though, right? It was an exchange, and it got shut down. This is the guy I'm looking for. Mark Carpeles. Mark Carpeles. This guy. So he, he took it over. That's Markiplier. That's, <laughs> that's actually Markiplier took it over. Dude, I was laughing to myself yesterday, thinking, what if we got on today and just made up everything? Just fucking everything <laughs> fake. Nothing real. <laughs> Brazenly fake. And just flip the podcast into a meta where- That's good. People just play it for their friends, and we just say psycho information, and it's just a bit between us and the whole audience where all of us know that it's fake. That's, and a, we, good, that's, that's a good idea. I used to have a, a Snapchat show when I worked at, when I, like, <laughs> like three, four years ago called That Ain't Right or something like that, and it was, it was, uh, it was all made-up shit. <laughs> like, I it mean, was all made-up celebrity news. It's kind of funny. I mean, it's just, you know, it's just the onion, but... You yeah, know, to another level with two guys talking. Yeah, that's really good. And we make up conspiracy theories and shit, too. This is everything, but no, say them like they're true. Yeah. Bro, man, I could Anyway, anyway. Um, I was, like, driving down the freeway, sorry, and I saw a, a sign that said, coronavirus is CCP virus. I was like, what kind of fucking political shit is this? Like, that's how down bad uh advertising spaces that they're just letting anyone buy <laughs> billboards on the freeway like that was like, a billboard that was a fucking digital billboard on the freeway <laughs> i was like what the fuck is going on here it was just big bold text and i i just and i like <laughs> i google I, I, they not like check that at all i don't know i googled it as i was driving because i was thinking like no nah, bro come on man like is is this uh, is this like some you know? Am I gonna go to this website and then it's like ah gotcha? This is sponsored by the Dare program. Kids die from jewel pods every day or some shit <laughs> yeah. like that, you know? Yeah. And I I Google the phrase. There's no website. There's no campaign. No. So some some person just was like, yeah, I'm gonna put this up on a billboard on the 405. Dude, that's so funny. They're like, hey, what are you selling? He's like, nothing. Okay. Well well, it's okay. So it's like a birthday message or something. No. Okay. What do you want it to say then? <laughs> Just the ch the China virus. Okay. That's it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> the guy's like, okay. well, we <laughs> can. The guy's like, hundred thousand dollars a day. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. You know what? You know what? It's your opinion. I see what. <laughs> I see where you're coming from. You know what? <laughs> that's your opinion. Yeah. And that's, you know, more power to you. It said coronavirus is the CCP virus. That's it. That's all it said. <laughs> oh, my God. That's so stupid. Yeah. I couldn't that's believe it. That's a stupid thing shit. to put on a billboard. It's so dumb. Anyway, so Mount Gox was, uh, Mount, first of all, Mount Guck. Mm -hmm. Mount Gux. It was a Magic the Gathering site. For trading cards. And it was started by what's this dude's name? Jared something. And he sold it to this guy, Mark Garpelis. And Markiplier. He, Markiplier. He sold it to Markiplier. And he blew it up into some uh you know. Did you ever remember this? Like, did you yeah. ever read into any of this? So yeah, yeah so you got arrested. Why but, did he get arrested though? So for everyone else, basically, this guy started a website to, like, buy and sell Bitcoin, and it was, like, had zero security. No one should have been using this shit from the start. Oh, it got hacked, right? Yeah, it got hacked, and, and oh, right. those dudes stole 50 million worth of Bitcoin. 50 yeah, right, fucking right. million. Yeah. How is that not the biggest heist in history? What's yeah, they got, they got drained. What's the biggest heist in history besides, like, Enron? I, the fucking, the one I was just telling you about. One coin. One Dude, coin? they raised $45 billion. Okay. Oh, sorry. Okay. I put heist. Oh, Hei oh okay. Biggest diamond heist. Yeah, because that that's like a scam. You know what I mean? That's yeah. like preying on old people. This was straight up Steel. robbery. Yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? Okay. This is like, yeah, hack and then yeah, make, and make away ours. with the bag. Yeah. yeah. Um, Antwerp diamond heist. How much was that worth? 100 mil. That's the biggest, that's the biggest heist. 
Yeah, and for a hundred million diamonds, what do you think that is? Like a fucking, <laughs> like a grocery bag? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it would be really disappointing. Yeah, it, dude, it's like a it's like a crown royal bag full of diamonds. <laughs> it's hella small. <laughs> no, it's just one crazy pendant, <laughs> like a wrapper chain. <laughs> Yeah, the, the biggest heist is stealing fucking, <laughs> fucking some rap. I'm trying to think of the funniest rapper to steal from. Fucking <laughs> Tiger's Tiger's chain at his fucking uh, cl- what's his clothing brand? <laughs> Which his, one? What is this fucking clothing brand? Tiger's clothing line. Uh, Last Kings. Yeah, he got his chain took at a Last Kings event. <laughs> That's the biggest diamond heist ever. How many, how many diamonds is that actually? I wonder. Or if it was just like a single, you know, like some, you know, uncut gem type shit. Yeah. Like a real big boy. Like a real yeah. thick boy rock. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Big ass rock. Yeah. Big old dirty rock. Yeah. Big boy rock. Man, they like detail exactly how they <laughs> robbed it. Yeah. So, you know, Mount, Go- Mount Guck, $50 million uh, Bitcoin heist. Pretty up there, bro. Yeah. Let me make sure I got that number right. Um, okay, so he got arrested for like falsifying data and some shit. Okay, he did 30 months in prison. How much did they steal? Sorry, I'm trying to just get Chili to stop bargain. That's fine. Oh, did he? Did he? <clears throat> em- oh, he embezzled it. Oh, man. Who did? So- Oh, the guy who, the Mount Gox guy? Yeah, Mount so 33 mil. So he drained himself. <laughs> oh, did he drain himself? <laughs> Wait, the Mount Gox uh, uh, founder uh, 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 drained himself? Lies again. <laughs> this what? just in, we're switching the information again. Mount Gox disclosed the theft of approximately 850,000 Bitcoin worth more than 450 million at that's that time. That's more like it. That's more like it. At that time. That's more like it. That's Holy what I'm talking shit. about. That's what I was expecting, dude. I was expecting half a bill. We're talking Holy Bitcoin here, dude. And, uh, and one of the, it was one of the biggest exchanges at the time was Mount Guck. There must have been, you know, millions being exchanged every day. Hundreds of millions of bucks. Holy fuck. You see this picture right here with Two Mark? Billion. Mark yeah. sipping on his fucking, <laughs> his fucking caramel ice macchiato. And this guy's like, where the fuck is my money? <laughs> Can I not drink my coffee in peace here? Jeez. My iced frap. Um, <clears throat> this, remi- this all reminds me of the, the Mark Zuckerberg picture. <laughs> this- him, him drinking that coffee. <laughs> Very much in the same vein. Wait, let me let me let me let me look that picture up. Sorry, I'm also doing the math on eight hundred fifty thousand times ninety three hundred bucks, which is eight billion dollars. <laughs> <laughs> is it really? Oh my god! Yeah. Wow. So they're just they're cheesing right now on an, <laughs> on an island. Yeah. They're in the Galapagos. Just I mean, what do that- you even do? Dude, that's scary money. That's like you can get someone murdered and it's not a problem. Yeah, dude. You know, you want to know what's fucking crazy? Here's something I learned from that podcast. They're talking to someone that was like in the know on basically creating shell corporations and hiding money. Essentially. Okay. Wait, what podcast? You just looked at it. Sorry, the, real... the one, the one coin one. Oh, got it, got it, got it. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. He was saying that something like a third of the world's money is tied up in Moneyland, which is you know a fictional term used to describe the world where money is untraceable but you can still spend it okay so it's you know these billionaires and stuff like that that want to not pay taxes or fees or whatever on their money and it's you know tied up in foreign bank accounts that have that are owned by some shell corporation that's owned by another shell shell corporation so it's they can still spend it on yachts and stuff like that but the no government can trace it And same with their houses and everything. It's something like a third of the world's money. Is that not fucking crazy? That's wild. Yeah, and it's really interesting. And it's all the people who don't need more money that have that. <laughs> and all the people who need money <laughs> are just stuck paying yeah. for shit, dude. Yep. I fucking... Um, I went to check out this car yesterday. Uh, a, p- a potential race car. and um, And this dude, he... Uh, he had Montana plates on one of his cars and 
I was asking him, like, I was like, yeah, I always see guys with, you know, supercars and shit, you know, with Montana plates. Like, what's the deal? And I guess dudes register companies over there. Like, they're all, like, super rich, so it's like they can justify it. Um, and And I guess they register companies over there, and they just register the cars to that company. And then they can cruise around at Montana emissions and stuff. So they can have these, like, crazy cars that don't, stack up to California emissions and other uh, shit like like when when they buy like La Ferraris and really expensive cars like that when you buy those cars in America you have or California you pay 10% but if you you know if the car is being registered in Montana then you skip out that's fucking crazy you buy a Ferrari you have to pay a hundred grand on that huh to California that's fucking theft bro hmm anyway that's interesting I like the, the emissions thing is funny. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we also want to thank the very lovely Babbel. Are you interested in learning another language, uh, but you know, every time you try, you feel like it doesn't stick? Well, you should give Babbel a shot. Okay, It makes it fun and easy to start having conversations in whatever preferred language. Uh, Babbel has proven to get you speaking a language within weeks. Okay, That's right. Babbel designs their courses with <clears throat> real-world conversation in mind, letting you learn everyday practical conversations that you will actually use. Yeah. Donde los bibliotecas. Oh, no. Stuff like that. Where's the libraries? <laughs> the daily lessons are 10 to 15 minutes and start by teaching you words and phrases. You'll get better, way better than I just was <laughs> in a matter of weeks. Uh, then your sentences gradually, gradually get more complex. Soon you're practicing short conversations. Lessons are thoughtfully created by over 100 language experts and their teaching method has been scientifically proven to effective to be effective across multiple studies. Mm -hmm. They even have speech recognition technology that helps improve your pronunciation and accent. Yeah, with Babbel, you can choose from 14 different languages, okay? Spanish, Francais, Italian, and German. Uh, Babbel is available as an app or online, so your progress will be synced across all your devices. And right now, when you purchase a three-month subscription, Babbel will give uh, our listeners an additional three months free with the promo code TMG. That's three months free if you go to Babbel.com and use promo code TMG for your three-month subscription. That's B-A-B-B-E-L.com, promo code TMG. Uh, get, get, get your language skills up so when travel is finally allowed again, you can go all over the world and be fluent. And ask, and ask where the library is. Ask where the is. damn library is. <laughs> yeah. Especially just now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's just fucking bullshit admissions limitations here. <laughs> it's like, the, you know, get around those things. Uh, Wait, what race car were you looking at? You trying uh, to buy it? Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, I don't I don't want to <laughs> I don't want to speak on it too much yet. Okay. <laughs> we'll gotcha. see what we'll see where the cards land. Gotcha. Um, but yeah, it's uh if we if if I end up getting it, I'll have some stories for sure. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to jinx it, it. I don't want to jinx it. Is it oh. street legal and stuff like that or no? Is Knock on wood. For... Um, this one would be. Yeah, it, okay. it would be street legal. Gotcha. Um, but yeah, no, knock on some wood. Your wood, any wood. I don't care. Just uh, knock on some wood. And if, and if you're listening and you got some no, wood near you. Did you tell me to knock on my wood? Look, bro. It's a vicarious knock. <laughs> <laughs> knock on your wood for me? Knock on your wood for me? <laughs> knock on your, knock your wood real quick knock it knock your wood knock your wood <laughs> that's why Fort, Fortnite's sus dude oh a guy is in your box a guy just knocked down your wood alright dude ah oh! <laughs> yeah but that picture of Mark though I'm trying dude. to find the one of him I don't know what you're talking about what should I search Mark sipping frap no dude the one that went viral this week of him on the surfboard? <laughs> oh, that picture. Yeah, I just, you know, it's like CEO, tech CEO things. Oh, got it. Just, yeah, you know, just Mount tech Guck CEO just things. drinking a big weird frap. Mark Zuck <laughs> uh, riding this big weird surfboard. What the fuck yeah, what the is fuck this? is that? Why does this surfboard have like a controller? That's a, everyone, that's the biggest problem with this, with this going viral is everyone was like, oh my God, this sunscreen. What is he riding? Yeah. How are, how are people not more freaked out by this electric surfboard? I've never seen this in my entire life. What the fuck? It's like a yeah. boosted board for water? What the yeah, fuck is that? Yeah, this dude has a controller for his goddamn... <laughs> That's actually the PS6. 
It's a console and a surfboard. <laughs> that controller is crazy. You can definitely put that in somebody. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Is, yeah. I'm fucking 12. That's the first thing I go to. <laughs> yeah, it doubles as a dildo. For sure. I mean, look at it. The shape of that thing is wild. Yeah, this is some science fiction shit. Is, <laughs> what the fuck is he writing? Where, where is he? Where is he? On Mars? <laughs> <laughs> what sport is this? Dude, I hate that this picture is... This, is it enjoyable? Yeah, I hate that he wore a sweater to like perfectly color palette this whole image. Like his sweater goes with the ocean. Like everything about this is just, <laughs> it's just too perfect. <laughs> he is caked on. He's what? He's caked on with the sunscreen. Like I oh, imagine it. his sunscreen is just like a like a bowl, and he just <laughs> his face in it. It's like you know, it's like whipped cream texture. <laughs> he just wipes away on the eyes and mouth and nose. <laughs> okay, I am ready to go surfboarding. Here's the thing: is that like guys do this? They'll put zinc all over their face because they're in the water for three, four hours surfing, mm -hmm. and like no sunscreen is that water resistant so they'll just cake their face with, with <laughs> zinc right but thinking about him doing this for four hours <laughs> doing this boosted board this water boosted board you get sick of that in like 10 minutes it's like uh, a jet ski you're on it for a little bit and then you're like okay the novelty is worn off oh yeah no but for hours yeah just like fucking... <laughs> where are you going dude <laughs> In that same position too. Just, he's 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 got the sunscreen caked on, but he's also got his cake on. Oh yeah. People, there are some people looking at this upset because they're in the gym squatting every day and they still can't get an ass like this. <laughs> Zuck was just born with this shit. Why the fuck he's wearing a hoodie? <laughs> Cause dude, it gets cold in going water. at fucking eighty miles an hour in the water. His his boosted board is faster than a jet ski. This shit is crazy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I think I think he goes between the beach and his private island. That's got to be what it's yeah. be like. Yeah. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's somewhere very remote. Which <laughs> which then brings the question to light: Who took this picture? <laughs> what kind of paparazzi <laughs> is there? <laughs> Does he, paparazzi pulls up also on one of these things. <laughs> That's why Zuck is looking so strange. He's like, "Where did you get yours?" <laughs> These are these are still in beta. <laughs> he sounds like Bonzi buddy. <laughs> Where did you get your surfboard? <laughs> How do you also have one of those? <laughs> Please enter your first name and your last name into the <laughs> I am reading your mind. <laughs> Why you sound exactly like him? <laughs> Yo, how do how do you do, how do you do that? You just got to you, you know, you got to you got to squeeze it down. It you sounds gotta, like you're talking but inhaling. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> how do you do? Yo. I had a homie who could do that shit. It was the <laughs> funniest fucking I wish I could do that shit, man. He would do this crazy ass voice. He'd be like, <laughs> and it would just yeah, man. Yeah, fucking kill me, man. Hello, <laughs> how are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, man. Yeah, you just gotta you just gotta clamp it down. <laughs> Where did you get your surfboard? <laughs> Bruh. Uh, speak, speaking of crazy-ass technology, I appreciate that Elon came out and let us know that the Neuralink chip is just fucking AirPods for your brain. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it plays music directly into your asshole or yeah, whatever. into your brain, yeah. Into whatever nerves control your asshole. Oh, yeah, that's right, yeah. It goes into your asshole and... Um, it goes you know, into your brain, but it... it stimulates the spot that controls your asshole. Yeah, specifically. And so your asshole moves <laughs> to the down. base. It like quivers to the base. It's like... <laughs> That's how you really feel the music. Yeah, you can actually listen to that song 
while you're taking a dump, and it'll just you know it'll singe the poop like a like a fa- <laughs> like a factory line. So I can. <laughs> or yeah, you ever heard "Losing It" by you said, Fisher? You said what? "Losing uh, It" by Fisher. Oh, yeah. You ever heard that I'm one with the it. giant <laughs> foghorn? <laughs> no, that shit gets it open. You trying to? Yeah, that's when you're trying to. Yeah, you're trying to get it clean out. Clean out the insides. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm losing it. <laughs> You can actually sync your morning coffee routine to that shit. <laughs> that song, bro. That is classic. That is the song uh, for like, uh, how do I don't say that. I feel like that's the song to like lose your friends at Coachella type shit. Yeah. Yep. Like that is the song. <laughs> yep. That's just like the EDM song. I mean, it was for like a year. That was mm-hmm. the song. Everywhere you go, that's planned. <laughs> Something that's about wild. it just makes me want to take more Molly, man. I can't <laughs> explain. <laughs> it, it, Sorry. Oh, oh, by the way, I read a comment that said we should stop clearing our throats into the mic. That the like thing has gotten better, but the clearing of the throat thing should <coughs> stop. And he was like a, a broadcast major or something like that. So I just want to say, I hear you. And I'm, I'm, <coughs> consci- I'm conscious of it now. <clears throat> yeah, maybe I'm not even. Maybe we're just like trying to make a, a very astute point, you know? <clears throat> <clears throat> if I may be so inclined, bold. as to say, yeah, bro. That's that's not us clearing our throat. That's us um, collecting our wisdom from our mm, yeah. age. The older you get, the more wisdom is in your neck, and you gotta. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> that's how that dude. That's how you know you're about to get a super. A bigoted opinion, ignorant opinion, because it's like it's like it's like buried, <laughs> like, like yeah. historically in their chest. Yeah. So they got to dig it up. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> well, actually. <laughs> well, actually, <laughs> you're like, ah, oh, here we go. Oh, this one's from 1950. Here we go. <clears throat> <clears throat> there are only boys and girls. Okay. All right. Here we are. <laughs> Um, what? Well, I was gonna say something about Zuck and Tech and Neuralink. Um, the Zuck, the suck. What made Elon bring that up? The whole it's gonna play music into your brain or whatever. Or was that just? I, like, was it him that tweeted that? I saw the tweet, but I didn't think it was actually him. Okay, <laughs> you're too Could busy sending him Could Bitcoin. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but where, where's the? Yeah, I'm still sending it. <laughs> I'm, even though I, I know it's a scam, I still, a little bit of me hopes that maybe I'm, I'll get some back one day. It's not fair to use Elon because, you know, if you're an Elon fanboy, you want to buy into that. Yeah, of course. You know? If he all of a sudden is endorsing some technology or something like that, it's very believable. I mean, dude, you, you know, that's like, you know how many like, Tesla's totally on one today. Sorry. Sorry, no, guys, fine. if you can hear that. Bro, you know how how much a Tesla guy would give to get a fucking text back from Elon in oh, yeah. any form? Cash? Yeah. A, a Bitcoin received from Elon Musk? Yeah. Oh, oh that's... Yeah, they'd, yeah, they'd print, out, print it out, the transaction ID, and frame it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Get a <clears throat> tattoo of it. You know, I've never had a tattoo, and I've never been so inclined just to get a tattoo, but when I got that money back from Elon, I thought... <laughs> this is genius. If you got a text from Isaac Newton... Okay. <laughs> and I got it right there on my lower back. <laughs> <laughs> Down my spine. Down my spine. <laughs> Down my spine to my lower back. So he can read it. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what does this article say? It says... Um, near li- But, like, li- obviously. What do you mean? Yeah. It does... It, this is just such, like... I don't know. It's yeah. just classic catering to the people that don't that won't understand it that they want a chip you know yeah yeah puff this piece. is why you want a chip <laughs> it puts spotify it plays into beer your brain. directly into your brain <laughs> <laughs> i want the chip so that i can like bro the here's okay here's one positive about the chip hear me out it will allow you to flavor things that taste like shit it's like be some matrix shit it'll be so easy to get fit Cause you can flavor something that tastes like complete ass, you know. You can make like a kale spinach shake taste like steak, steak shake. Yeah, that's a good you know, point. You, you know what I mean? Trick you your taste buds. Do that. 
Yeah. All right. Yep. I don't even know yeah. where, I, where that came from. But. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you could do that. Yeah. You could do anything. That's the <clears throat> thing. You could do literally anything. Streaming music is, is literally like the, the bare minimum. Thing. Yeah. 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 It, that's, that's, that's where Elon's fucking up. If he came out tomorrow and was like, with this chip, I can make anything taste like fucking malt liquor, steak, yeah. and ice cream in the yeah. same go. Everyone's like, sign me the fuck. Sign me the f- you're You're telling me that I can eat this this kale salad and it'll taste like I'm sipping on long branch whiskey and a pork <laughs> crackling. You where the fuck jam it in my fucking head right now. That's where it's gonna get fucked up when people are drinking milkshakes, but like they're rolling their eyes in their head because it just tastes like fucking moonshine. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like mm, oh, I said it to moonshine. Oh, this is the fucking. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting <laughs> fucked up right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Anyway, um staying hydrated, very important. I can hear you drinking something right now. What are you drinking? What are you sipping on? What are you sipping on, dude? Sipping on a nice cold water, man. Well, cold water. That's fantastic. Mm-hmm. You got to stay hydrated. Listen, for people like me, I don't like drinking water. I know I said a few a few episodes ago that I I uh, am trying to do it more and I am, and I am I'm trying to but it's through Liquid IV <clears throat> the the sponsor of this episode yeah a uh, believe it or not dehydration occurs daily in three out of four people with Liquid IV you have the fastest most efficient way to stay hydrated each serving helps you get as much hydration as two <laughs> to three bottles of water I actually drink this stuff every day and I really really like it yeah it's... it just tastes good and it makes it I drink fucking a full liter of water. With this shit easily, 10 minutes. <laughs> um, I mean, do you notice a difference? Yeah, my skin looks better. I, I feel like this is, this is like, not, I'm not trying to be like advertising. I actually do. Drinking more water. You know, I used to read tweets and, and people being like, you know, you drink more water and everything in your life will get better, blah, blah, blah. But like, I actually do notice a difference. I feel better and I look, I look better. All right. Well, <clears throat> so anyways. Anyway, yeah. I mean, you know, proper hydration can boost immunity. Uh, and one serving of liquid IV provides the same hydration as drinking two or three bottles of water alone. Healthier than sugary sports drinks, uh, no artificial flavors or preservatives, and less sugar than an apple. It's made with clean ingredients, non GMO, vegan, and free of gluten, dairy, and soy. Uh, what makes liquid IV so effective? They use a cellular transport technology, CTT. Okay. It's the optimal ratio of glucose, sodium, and potassium. Delivering water and nutrients into the bloodstream. Um, it's a perfect balance to help you hydrate more quickly and effectively than water alone. And right now, Liquid IV is available nationwide at Costco and Target, or you can get 25% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use the code TMG at checkout. 25% off anything you order. You use the promo code TMG at liquidiv.com. So get better hydration today. Liquidiv.com. Promo code. Promo code TMG. TMG. Rich people, Dan Bilzerian, dude. Yeah, some big, some big news on you know the king, the king alpha male, the king alpha male, Danny B, Dan Bilzerian, you know, and <clears throat> a really an icon in all of our eyes. Um, well, apparently, he might be, you know, he might be a fraud. Yeah, who would yeah. have thought? But maybe, you know, I don't know if this is true or not. But I mean, it's definitely true that. The guy that they chose, I guess the guy, I read the article, the guy that they chose as to be like the president of Ignite, he left the company or he got fired, I think. He got fired because he blew the whistle. He, yeah, he basically blew the whistle on like how much the company was spending on Dan's <clears throat> lifestyle because like the house is, a, is 200 grand a month <laughs> and the company pays for it, you know, and they've raised like 50 million bucks or something like that. And the company pays for all the trips, all the models, everything. And so he was concerned with this, and they fired him. And now he's trying to—he's suing them for wrongful termination. And all of this is part of the lawsuit, that all of this, like, egregious spending so that Danny B can be the idol of every 13-year-old. Bro, but when, when it says <clears throat> someone else pays his credit card bills, what I'm wondering is, is the money for Ignite being, like, pumped in like what you're saying is it coming from money land from somewhere else and from his fucking dad you know what i'm saying 
No, but he has investors. Oh. They're public in- investors, I'm pretty sure. Oh. That's the money. <laughs> Wait, let me just double check. Oh, man. It would be so funny if this whole shit came crashing down. Oh, my goodness. The final post by Dan Bilzerian. Could you imagine? Yeah. Could you fucking imagine? <clears throat> the scam comes to an end. Ignite is part of Vulcan Enterprises US. Okay. <clears throat> Which I think is a public company. I think, I don't know the way that this works, dude, but I know that something's fishy. Bro, Ignite lost 50 million last year. And the rent yep. on his place yep. is $2.4 million a year. A year, yep. Get the fuck out of here. I mean, like, it's, this is poetry, isn't it? This, something like this? Oh, yeah. I mean, I can't wait till the whole thing collapses, and then they get the clip of him on the, on the Rogan podcast being like, well, I got all my money from poker. Bum, 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 Yeah. Yeah. I can't wait. And not that I, you know, not that I want him to fail because I don't care that much, but it's annoying how he puts it in your face that he's like, I'm richer than you. I'm this than you. I'm that than you. And it's, if it's like, no, I mean, the whole time he was just a fucking skis ball. Fuck you. Yeah. I guess that's the problem with it is that he makes it part of his brand and his message that he's living the life that you should be living. Mm-hmm. And it's your fault that you're not doing this stuff. Yeah. I'm just I'm just having sex and living free. And it's just, you know, because you decide to bow to the corporate overlords. Yeah. That you aren't doing the same thing too. And it's like, well, yeah. it's also costs a fuck ton of money. <laughs> Somebody's gotta pay for it eventually. <laughs> yeah. And if you don't do it legitly, that's gonna catch up to you. I don't appreciate some someone calling me a, a fucking pussy and all this and that when it's like, bro, your whole the whole thing is rented. You don't even yeah. own it. Yeah. Fuck you, man. You're regular like the rest of us. Yeah. I think that's the biggest thing. Yeah. Even even if he came out of it where it's like he doesn't live in a in a ten trillion dollar house, now he just lives in a regular million dollar house. I go, that's what you always were. Yeah. You know, you fucking liar. <laughs> <laughs> it does. It, like there is a little bit of you know I don't know. Whatever that saying, whatever that word is, like Schadenfreude. Schadenfreude or whatever, where you see something <clears throat> where everyone is like, "How this just looks fake? Mm-hmm. It, how? Yeah, how it can't be real? It can't be real!" And then finally, someone comes out and says, "I know I'm on the inside, and it's not real." And you're yeah. like, "Oh, fuck yes. it! Thank God I'm not crazy." Yeah, I think yeah, that's definitely the 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 most of it. That's I think that's the majority of people is they want to feel like they're not crazy for looking at that. <clears throat> And and isn't it, isn't that wild? At least I, in my experience, when I would bring up like, "No, nah, this is fucking bullshit," people would fucking tell me, "Man, you just you just you just jealous, or you're you're hating, or you wish that in, was you." Like, in regards to him, yeah, and, and like doubting what the fuck he had. I was like, that, "There's no fucking way." Yeah, it's not real. I'm like, hey man, if he says you got it from this, like it just is what it is. It's like, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. he it's all from poker, dude. Poker money Bro. like this doesn't exist. No. That's that's that was my biggest thing is you look at the the best the biggest pros in the world. These dudes live in Vegas. They don't pay like you know what I mean? Like Yeah. They live a certain way so that that money is protected. And I like I know a couple dudes that like got up in poker pretty decent and that money is not there all the time. So when I'm like you're on fucking yachts off poker? Fuck yeah. you. Yeah. Um I'm just on his Instagram now to look at more ridiculous <laughs> shit. This dude has a tank with the Ignite brand. Oh, it's not a tank. It's a army truck. Still. Yeah, still. That, that's, what it, that's what it was. That's part of the lawsuit is that he said that he would just slap the Ignite logo and everything and it would become a marketing expense. <laughs> so he's just expensing all this shit. Bro, on this jet? No way. Yeah. This yeah, it's is... pretty wild. It's also, you know what's weird is that like, it's just always him and 15 girls. And yep. They're all on the payroll. Yep. So where, where, I, like how, it's just, I don't know. I, I, even if, even if you're, you know, cause I'm, I'm assuming he, he went on some, what was it? 
Oh, oh, I, I someone someone sent me his. He was doing a Q and A on his Instagram story. Hell yeah! And someone sent me one of his answers, and it was like I don't know, it was stupid. And so I like backtracked through the other questions, and one of them was, "How many times a day do you have sex?" And he <laughs> said, two or three a day." So like you know, he's having sex with these women, and it's like, but they're also on the payroll. Yeah. So is that weird <clears throat> for you? Yeah. Where you're, these girls are paid to spend time with you does it feel real like there's no weird. way there's no way. i mean i mean it probably doesn't i mean this picture right here is funny to me because <laughs> it's fucking guy fieri outfit he has on <laughs> yeah like i don't know something about this to me just screams little kid i don't know why like just like the little camo shorts and the nikes yeah and the plain white tee just like I yeah, I have sex with like fifteen girls and I go in the big airplane and I go to the beach and it's like, all right, cool. But yeah, no, I I agree with you that the I think you have to be pretty empty inside to like even want to keep this up, you know? But yeah, why why is Hugh Hefner like a legend? Cause it was the same shit, wasn't it? You no. had girls living with them, but they were all models, they're all getting paid. That all wanted to be in Playboy. I mean, yeah, but I guess he, with Hugh, maybe it was like, um, maybe it's because like it started with like a publication, and and maybe there's like a degree of actual, you know, was, was Hugh have was his dad rich? I have no idea. Because yeah, I thought he, he was self made. He founded Playboy, <laughs> which you could argue is um, maybe it's a bit perverse. And it's like thinly veiled perversion. Or, you know, can you argue that it's like art or something where he's breaking the status quo, where he's like, man, all these fucking magazines are so fucking safe. Fuck that. We're just going to, we're going to put people butt ass naked. Uh, and, and, you know, we're going to like, you know, we're going to appeal to what real life is like. I don't know. Yeah. Um, but I mean, Danny B created Ignite. <laughs> that's the best CBD company that there is. <laughs> that's another thing is that they started as cannabis, like weed and stuff, and then they, I guess, they pivoted to CBD. Yeah, CBD, which, which I guess is you know it's almost the same thing, but not really because they started as like a real <laughs> weed company, and now it's like you know placebo essentially. <laughs> Bro, it's I'm, just scammy, like the whole thing. Dude, I'm sorry. These pictures he's got on here are just hysterical to me. It's just, what is this? Is, like, these are pictures that are just like on accident. Yeah. Him eating a pizza on his stomach. Dude, you look like a five-year-old, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I earned this body and I built this temple with nothing more than some elbow grease and a little can-do attitude. And yes, a large inheritance from my father, Earl. Okay. Okay. So he acknowledges it there. All right. Okay. At least he's honest. So there. maybe he does have. I mean, I. Who knows? Who knows, man? Maybe he's. Maybe he does have a fuck ton of money from his dad. He's just still using or still expensing the stuff to not pay taxes. Yeah. Or to not to, to to not pay as many taxes on it. Yeah, maybe he's just fucking minted for life, so none of this shit yeah. matters. Yeah. Who knows, man? Who knows? <laughs> I just thought it was funny. <laughs> no, most definitely this. It's actually, no, it's, I don't want to go too long, but I do want to say it is kind of interesting the way his branding, I mean, it's, it's still more or less the same, but how it started, because it, how it started, he was like heavy on guns. Like that was yeah. the shit. Yeah. Was guns. Yeah. And then it like became the girls and stuff and yeah, him going to Vegas and fucking... I for sure thought when we went over there, we we're just going to walk around and there's just going to be like Fortnite crates everywhere. Like it was just going to be, <laughs> you know, big ass guns just all over the place. Oh, yeah. We didn't see a single gun. Yeah. By the way, for those who don't know, we've been to his house. Yeah. In it's LA. It's fucking huge. And it's huge. We had to check in with the security team. We had to leave our phones, right? Yeah. Yeah. We had to check our phones in with the with the head security guy who is in an office right by the front door. And then... He was like, we were like, where do we go? And he was like, just go past the bowling alley to the to the to the elevator and take the elevator up to like the fourth floor. And we were yeah, like, it's like, what? it's what like are we? a resort. Where are we? Yeah, it's like walking into a Dave and Buster's. It's fucking ridiculous. So yeah. yeah, all the games are on level two. There's yeah. um, fun slushies on level three. 
Bro, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> Look at him without a beard. I know. <laughs> he just looks like buff ass Adam Sandler. He's nothing without that beard. That beard is his power. <laughs> Look at the dude's t-shirt on the right. That's hard. Bro, I'm dying. Oh my god, dude, I'm dying. <laughs> it's fucking... He's not the same guy without that beard. He needs to delete this picture. Dan... Go, 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 to, go one to the right. See him with that gun. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> He is not the same guy. Holy shit, he just looks like a Facebook dude. He is not the same dude. Oh, okay. Alligator murder. What's that one? Sick. Ew. Bro, he is... Oh, my God. This shit came out of nowhere. Oh, man, he's a... Oh, what is he in this full <laughs> zebra outfit? <laughs> Damn, Dan, you changed. Look at yeah, you. Man. You used to wear fucking nylon zebra print. <laughs> now look at you. He used to be one of the boys. He used to be one of the boys, man. He used to spray particles on us like the rest of us. Now look exactly. at you. Exactly. Exactly. Too fucking cool. Man, old old I miss the old Danny B. Don't you wish Danny B would go back to the nylon zebra to the wake, print wake, days? Go, go to the wake surfing one? Oh, never mind. He go to the no, nylon zebra print more. days, you know? That was perfect for driving around your town. <laughs> Sipping on a tall can from the tilted kilt. <laughs> yeah, that I I do want to shout out. I want to shout out Nick from Patreon. Yeah, he commented. He said, "Man, Noel and Cody need to go back to that sugar gay era of making dark and hilarious jokes era of the podcast made for driving around LA eating candy chicken." You know, <laughs> candy chicken. And I want to shout you out for that because that's a great comment. Candy chicken wasn't even that far away. Man, look. Look at our boy. Look at long face over here. Yeah. Dude, I'm screen capping all these. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Dude, this is a, a dope-ass reply pic right here. <laughs> yeah, it, <laughs> the is. Fucking... <laughs> it is. <laughs> Just up to the wrist. You don't even need the six-pack in it. Yeah. This one right here? Look at our boy. He's What's not... he doing? I don't know. He's Gambling? not the same, though. Yeah, I don't know. Gambling. He used to just be a Vegas boy. Yeah, that's all he was. Yeah, this is Vegas Dave. <laughs> Dave Bilzerian. <laughs> Fucking Vegas Dave. Imagine <laughs> if that was his name instead. Like, it, dude, it's so funny because whoever helped him in the beginning definitely nailed his branding. Because if it was even one step off, he would not be this big. Yeah. Look at this. He doesn't know what he's doing. Look at this. Poor people make love. Rich people fuck. <laughs> this is horrible. Oh my god, that that's from that's right from the boardwalk. That's from T-shirtville on the boardwalk. Yeah, and then caption, my lunatic friend had this shirt made. Oh, look at this zany shirt we made. <laughs> I kind of want that shirt. <laughs> yeah, now that's you do. So good. This is this is the next one percent merch. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine, bro? We need we need all the one percenters. One percent. We're gonna buy you these t-shirts and and sponsor them so that you wear them. Bro, look at my dude, Chiefin. Oh uh, yeah. What does it say? Squad. So, uh, sold something Euro tour. My dude, TBT. selfies with the blunt. TBT. Look at my guy. Yeah, posted. Fucking snack time, baby. We're just cruising Danny Bill's Instagram, bro. This is <laughs> yeah, this is a fucking trip, honestly. <laughs> this is so interesting. Dude, these pictures where he has with, with, the, with, the, with the models in the early days, just him with his hand around their waist, that's <laughs> just so like Scottsdale. It's just every picture in Scottsdale <laughs> is this. <laughs> What's hilarious, dude, is someone at some point told him to stop smiling. Yeah. He just... D d he no longer smiles in pictures. No, he got veneers. Now he smiles again. Oh, does he? Okay. Yep. All right. Yep. Yep. Okay. Let's 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 go modern Danny Bills. <laughs> yeah, you stop. Oh, oh, I just saw you on there. That was weird. Oh yeah, yeah. That was I'm, weird. I'm the only one, bro. I'm the only one. Oh, what what year? 2014. I'm like that was weird. Hold up. What when is this? 2015. Yeah, I'm the only one, man. 
It's a trip. Yep. There it is. <laughs> Look at me. Look at me in the six. <laughs> Look at me in the tic-tac-toe board right here, man. That's hilarious. I'm honored that he would put me between a pick of a helicopter and his foot. Highly, highly <laughs> coveted <laughs> pieces of fucking whatever. It's hilarious, man. Anyway. Um, so good. Danny Bills. <clears throat> Anyways, yeah, we've talked about him now for like 20 minutes, but. Did we really talk about Danny Bills that long? Yeah, but it's funny. Yeah. We've been to his house, dude. We I met know. him, remember? <laughs> Vegas Dave. What we, am I doing? Way Vegas Dave. <laughs> Vegas remember? Dave's house. We walked up and we said, hey, what's up? And he just, bit. he didn't even give us the time of day at all. Nah, nah. He, he like at all. No, he, uh, we came in and he was just posted with some girls. And then yeah. um, at some point he like left his fucking, his, um, his Chad throne. And he came down and he looked at us and he goes, yeah, you guys can stay. You hang out <laughs> up here if you want. <laughs> Bathrooms are downstairs. <laughs> and then him and his fucking he brought over that bong and him and like five girls were just taking these huge bong rips and I was mm-hmm. like this is about to get messy dude mm-hmm. and then Odell Beckham Jr. came yeah did a shot with us mm-hmm. and then he left mm-hmm. that was weird I'm not I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not making this up also this is all yeah. real it was a weird 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 night night and this was uh the the weirdest shit was I don't even know why I did it like this, but it was either Post or Dan Blazarian was like, this is Odell. And I went, oh, I know. <laughs> and then Odell went, oh, what's up, bro? <laughs> You're from the millionaire vine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I follow Dan B. You're from the millionaire. Shit. I was just thinking, bro, could you imagine if I fucking did that shit? Oh, my God. Did what? Yo. Dude, you probably don't remember this. <laughs> um, yeah, oh, have you, oh, you walked up to Dan? Oh, and Vine, said that? you know, man, I don't want to make it weird, but, you know. Yep. Good, Dan, good to meet you. Do you, you don't, do you, who is this bitch? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you say the tagline, he's like, what? Who is this bitch? I don't know, I'm sorry, why are you saying that to me? No, come on. Who is this bitch? Fist over the face. Uh, do you see it? Do you see it? <laughs> I brought the hat. I brought the hat in case you forgot. It's just in my backpack. Security <laughs> made me check it in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what a bizarre night, dude. Yeah, it was weird. All right. Uh, I got to take a piss. Then let's talk <sighs> about Logic becoming a streamer. Oh, and we can also watch this fucking card tricks with Jeff Bezos. I'm so excited for you to see this because it is one of the most uncomfortable videos ever. And and I love I love uh uh fucking God damn it, what's his name? Uh Dave. Vegas Dave. Dave. You love Vegas, Vegas Dave. Dave. I love Vegas Dave. <laughs> uh David Blaine. I love Vegas Blaine. Vegas Blaine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Uh, we'll see you guys in the bone zone. Peace.